Hey, this is Terry White, Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe, and I thought I'd share a quick tip with you as I get ready to head out on the Adobe Create Now World Tour. This is kind of whetting your appetite for the things that we'll be covering during the tour stops. So the first tip, or basically this tip, is around publishing to Behance from Photoshop directly. You can do this from Photoshop. You can also do it from Illustrator. So let's take a look. I've got an image here. And this image is kind of a work in progress. I'm going to show you that basically it's a production shot and I kind of liked it so much that I wish it didn't have the actual lighting equipment in it. So I'm going to publish it as is to Behance, which is right under the file menu, share on Behance. And that will um, load up Behance and start preparing a web version of the image. So I'm going to call this Red Rock Canyon. And I can put in whatever tags I want. And then I can say, you know, whatever comment I want. Now I can either decide to show this to everyone or basically just my feedback circle, the people that I trust their opinions on. So we're going to hit continue. The next thing it will prompt me for is a cover image, which I'm going to go ahead and provide it. And I also get the chance to publish it or share it on social media to uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. I'm going to skip that part. So it's pretty much done. If I go ahead and head over to uh, my Behance profile, uh, we'll be able to go to my work in progress. And there it is. Now what I'd like to do is do the revision. So let's head back to Photoshop. I'm in Photoshop CC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this lighting equipment. So using the lasso tool and using my nice Wacom stylus here, I can go ahead and painstakingly, very carefully, and as you can see, I'm not really being too careful, make my selection around this lighting gear. And once I make my selection, Come up around here and up the back. The next thing I want to do is just go ahead and remove that or have Photoshop remove it using Content Aware Fill. Now I can hit the delete key on my keyboard or I can just go to Fill and choose Content Aware. Once I click OK, Photoshop will begin to figure out what that image would look like if that selected area wasn't there. And voila, not bad. So let's go ahead now and publish this as a revision. So we'll share on Behance. And it will take us through the same process, but we're going to make one change. Instead of publishing it as a new work, we're going to go ahead and publish it as a revision. So I get to choose which revision I'm making. I removed the lighting gear using content aware fill in Photoshop CC. So again, it's going to my feedback circle, continue, give it a new cover image, crop and finish. And again, I can share it on um, social networking if I choose to, but now if I go back and look at this work, I'll have the before and the after. So people can continue to give me feedback as the work in progress be continues on this project. So that's a quick tip. Again, we're going to cover tons of these in the Create Now Tour. So join us and you'll see the URL in just a moment. Thanks for watching.